5. So why don't we jump over to form 5695 to look at it. It is not a complicated form, but sometimes these things can be a little bit intimidating. Biggest thing that I see that people don't do is make sure you fill in your name and your Social Security at the top of this form. Because even if you send it in with your 1040, it will not be registered against your, ta your actual tax liability unless that information is filled out. You want to make sure you check the yes box that lets them know that you're applying for this credit and that your main home is in the United States. One other thing I want to point out, if you have purchased any windows or doors or any other type of insulation, that's going to be on the front of this form. And the reason that's important is uh, when you get down to line 11 and you figure out the tax credit that you're going to be allowed from that, you're going to use this on the reverse side when you're figuring out your solar, hot water system, heating tax credit. So when you flip over the back of the form, you're going to enter your qualified solar water heating property costs on line 13. And that's going to be the total cost of your system, plus your installation, plus any cost to modify uh, parts of your house to, to accommodate the system, such as your roof and so forth, maybe some duct work that you've had done. And then you're going to subtract from that cost the amount that you have received in a state tax incentive if you've received any. So that's the net amount that you're entering on line 13. Um, you're going to multiply this amount by 30 percent and you're going to put the result on line 17 which will show you your tax credit. So in this example we're saying that our net cost of the system is $7,010. We've multiplied that by 30 percent and we come up with $2,103. Now You'll carry that down to line 23, which is the amount of the credit. And then this is what I was talking to you about on form 1040. You're actually going to be entering the amount of your credits on lines 47 through 50 plus line 11 on the front page of this form. And what you're going to be doing is reducing your tax liability by these credits to show the net amount that you still have available to use the qualified solar uh, water heating property costs credit for. And so once you've subtracted that, you're going to come up with the amount of credit that you're allowed to take on line 27. And that would be the amount of credit that you're able to take for this year. If your amount of credit that you're able to get from this system, the 30 percent, is greater than your tax liability, then you'll enter the, that difference on line 28 and carry that forward to use against your tax liability in 2011. And you'll continue to carry that forward uh, until 2016, until you've used that. Now, if you have consulted with a uh, qualified tax preparer or a tax planner, they may be able to help you to move around sale of, say, uh, you may have some capital gain property, such as stock or something like that, where you may want to move the income back into this year and, and do that before year end so that you can use the tax credit uh, from the solar hot water heating system this year. If not, you can, you can do the same thing next year. Maybe um, you don't have enough time to plan between now and the end of the year. Uh, you can certainly do that. Again, the system, the, you don't get the tax credit until you've actually installed it and the system is running. So in normal circumstances on tax deduction, uh, it's when you pay for it. In this case, with the energy credits, is when the system's installed and functional. So we have an example here on the screen of the federal tax calculation with the state incentive for Pennsylvania included. Cost of the system up front is $6,848. Installation ranges from about $1,500 to $2,500 depending on the circumstance with your home, whether you've got a single story, two story, whether it's a ground mount, etc. So we've just Included in here the kind of high end the example of a $2,500 installation, which brings the total cost of your system to $9,347. Now, the state of Pennsylvania allows you a tax credit, reduces your tax liability in that state by 25%. So that means that you were able to take $2,337 off the price, and the resulting $7,010 that's left over is the amount that you'll be entering onto your Form 5695. Our earlier example used this amount so that we, you could easily follow the way it went through. And if you have time and you go back to our website and you'll re-watch this webinar, you'll be able to follow the way the numbers kind of flow through. When we calculate your federal tax credit, it's 2000 
uh, $103. So your actual cost of the system is only $4,907. That's a 47% savings or $4,440 less than the actual cost of the system because it's been subsidized by both the state and federal government. Uh, if you have no state incentives and you're only interested in the federal credit and you're a do-it-yourself type of person and want to install it yourself, you could buy the system directly for us for $6,848. You would still get a $2,000 tax credit and your cost of the system would be $4,798. So it's still 30% less than you would normally pay because of the federal tax credit. Our website actually has a, a great deal of information on all the states and we have a complete listing of all of the state tax incentives and as you'll see is certain states actually provide when coupled with the federal tax credit up to 67 percent tax credit or reduces the cost of your system by 67 percent if you do this before year end. Thank you very much Chris. So the moral of the webinar is, there's no better time than right now to purchase your Sunward Solar Hot Water Heating System. Depending on where you live, you can get up to 67% back from the government. Call us right now for a free solar consultation, and we'll help you figure out if a Sunward system is right for you. Mention that you joined our webinar and get an additional $100 off. Thank you so much for your time, and please join us again for another webinar.